Hi everyone, my name is uh, Ksenia. <laughs> uh, happy to be here. I'm uh, the, the one who is responsible for startups in Yandex. And um, when thinking about uh, the topic of uh, corporation and innovation and uh, corporate innovation and so on and so forth, uh, uh, you always have the same phrases in your mind that it's hard and so on and so forth. So uh, let's first play uh, the game which Charles told me about just a few minutes ago. It's called uh, PowerPoint Karaoke. Uh, the game is uh, you get any slide and you should describe it and talk about it uh, uh, even if you have no idea what is it all about. So what is Yandex? What is Yandex? Anyone? So it's a search. What else? Huh? Bullshit? <laughs> ah, mail. Okay. Uh, anything else? Any more ideas? Huh? Red? Okay, it's red. It's red mail and search. But actually, uh, in 2010, when I first uh, started to work with Yandex, not for Yandex yet, uh, it was a very fast-growing company. It had uh, like uh, 1,500 employees and the number uh, multiplied twice uh, within next year. Um, I started to work uh, with an external company who was looking for startups in Yandex because by that time, when having 2,000 employees, uh, Yandex started to realize that they become, became a corporation and they have to find the ways to keep the innovation. Because before, when Yandex was 100 people, 500 people, even 1,000 people, it was functioning like a startup all the way long. And people were thinking about start, uh, like, like startups, acting like startups, and so on and so forth. When I, um, I joined Yandex in 2011, a couple months before our IPO, and uh, all the top management by that time was really scared about what's going on within company. They were, uh, okay, we have more 500 people. We have to rent a space, but it, 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 we cannot produ produce products as fast as before anymore because we still have democracy, we still take care about everyone's opinion, we still uh, cannot build a vertical uh, within the company and decision-making process takes a really long time. And uh, by that time, um, all the uh, Yandex tops understood that, okay, we have to somehow uh, continue with innovations within the, com within the company. But it was about top management, not about uh, uh, products or project managers or whoever. Why? So, who is Yandexoid? Uh, have you ever heard this name of uh, people who work in Yandex? They have even specially, special nationality, it's Yandexoid. Uh, Yandexoid is not just this cool guy whom you f frequently see at the, speaking at the conferences and uh, uh, appearing in uh, our uh, advertising and product advertising and so on and so forth. It's also a uh, multitask manager or multitask developer or whoever. And actually, when you, uh, like, uh, when I started, and it's going to be my personal story probably, when I started with Yandex, on the top level, they said, yes, yes, we need startups, we need innovations, we, we have to find ideas from external, we have to hire new people, we have to find to acquire them. But when uh, I came one, two levels down, I saw the following picture. I said, what? Startup? You know, come in a month, I, I have to launch my product and my bonus depends on this product. I don't care about startups because what are I going to do with them? What are I going to tell them and how are I going to work with them? So uh, they were digging, everyone was digging their own tranchee and everyone uh, didn't want even take care about external world. 
So, uh, anyway, uh, there was an idea that uh, um, Yandex and startups uh, working with startups should bring Yandex to another level, to the level of uh, getting uh, freshness of the external world, trying to fight uh, the not invented here syndrome and uh, like doing uh, things better and faster. We started with a very simple program called Yandex Start. Probably you've heard about that. Uh, it was a, um, uh, an event uh, quarterly organized by Yandex uh, where we selected the companies who we are interested in and people came to Yandex headquarters and uh, uh, they were pitching their ideas but the problem was that uh, there were two or three people from Yandex selecting these startups and having an idea in their minds that this startup can be interesting for one service, this startup can match with another product, and so on and so forth. But actually, when finally uh, the company came to Yandex and uh, made a presentation of what they're doing, um, it always happened that uh, the product guys themselves were still getting, uh, digging their own tranchet and didn't want to, to deal with people to start to work, and so on and so forth. Uh, things uh, slightly changed uh, recently, and uh, so we have next. Uh, our next step in 2011 was to launch uh, Yandex Factory. Yandex Factory. Finally, we, we, we thought this to be a small investment uh, program, uh, kind of pre-seed seed uh, program uh, to finance startup. But it occurred that within uh, first year of digging the uh, uh, Russian startup market, we have seen everyone and uh, new startups did not appear. Uh, they did appear, but not those who could be of interest for, for Yandex and Yandex services. Uh, so very fast we moved outside of Russia and started to uh, look uh, around more widely. We connected the, uh, very closely with Israeli market, with European market, much less with the US market because as the previous speaker said, it's a market it itself. And actually if someone in Silicon Valley cares about Yandex and wants Yandex money, it means that he's a total loser because there is so many, so much money on the, uh, in the valley that if someone did not manage to raise money in the valley and came to Yandex, it means that he's a zero. Oh, probably he's a genius who watches five years forward and trying to talk to people who will gain the market worldwide in five or ten years. But this is, you know, a pretty rare case. So finally, Yand Yandex, and actually our mistake, as we have realized later, was that uh, all this program of uh, giving small money to startups was uh, nothing about physical uh, space or physical collaboration with the companies. Uh, because, uh, like, you know, uh, when, when, when you understand that uh, there are not so many people to talk to and not so many teams to talk to in this very narrow uh, area of uh, pre-seed or seed stage startups, and you go out very fast, uh, you cannot give all this, uh, the same conditions to everyone. You, you can discuss 5 million investment or 50k investment at the same time. So uh, the program itself spread and it turned to be just a kind of startup uh, market analytics uh, story which exists, uh, which still exists. But what, uh, like, mm, it was so hard to work uh, with all that within the corporation because people still had a conflict of interest and didn't, uh, could not understand how to deal with the startup market. That for probably half a year, we stopped thinking about uh, working with the startup industry within Russia at all. Uh, till the moment when last, uh, I would say last winter, uh, we came back to this topic and uh, we have created uh, and invented an idea. It's actually, it's not an invention. We have taken a decision to try 
the internal Yandex accelerator. The general idea was that, uh, okay, we cannot find enough companies on the market to work with. Let's try to start with people. And uh, we have announced uh, um, Tolstoy Summer Camp. Tolstoy, it's because uh, Yandex headquarters in Moscow is located on uh, Leo Tolstoy Street, just on the opposite side of, uh, uh, of the same street where, his, uh, where uh, the house where he used to live uh, uh, is located. So uh, we have announced it in the middle, middle May, and we got more than 1,000 applications from people from Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Kazakhstan, and so on and so forth. Um, we made uh, 300 interviews, even more, via Skype. And we have selected like 45 people. At the same time, we, have, we, we wanted to prove to ourselves, first of all, that, so, say hi <laughs> to that guys. They also, like, okay, doesn't matter. I just saw them, doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, so uh, the idea was that if we match Yandex internal expertise and uh, the expertise from the market, if we take people from different parts of the country and put everyone in the same box, at the end, within two months, we can get uh, teams who could be successful. It was a hypothetic story because nobody in Russia did it before. A lot of people tried to announce and launch accelerators, but actually that was the very first one. So we did it. We have chosen 65 people and we have, uh, 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 we divided the program into three different parts. The first week, uh, they tried to meet each other and to pitch ideas and to collect the teams. Um, second part, they have had to prove the concept uh, and they made the presentation at the very end of the first month. Uh, and by the end of the first month, we l kept only half of the teams. So the last month, they worked out the product and the, they worked on the prototype. And it was, you know, pretty, pretty good thing to do. And we have realized several more points comparing to the, to the shim we uh, expected in the beginning. We have realized that there are several crucial things to do. First is you have to uh, work with people on coach level to make them relax, to make them more friendly, to make them more collaborative. And more or less once a week, we uh, asked our uh, internal Yandex coaches to work with the people who are at Tolstoy Summer Camp to, uh, to help them uh, pass uh, some difficulties and grow. The second story is that we asked uh, our partners, uh, uh, the accelerator called MetaBeta, to help us with every day-by-day -day uh, methodology help to startups and the guys brought um, the ideas of lean startup and customer development and uh, made people to go to go out to the streets to ask questions to prove the concepts and it really helped that was the uh, crucially important part of the accelerator because like at the same time for example they were um, in the digital October in Moscow there was a uh, the same, I would say, acceleration program called Founders. But at that program, people were kept to work within themselves with just some uh, lecturing uh, and speakers around. And actually, it didn't work so well because it looks like uh, people in the beginning of, the, of their way have to be led by someone who will help to uh, keep... Uh, the focus on the important things and forget the things which are not so important. And the third uh, part, which we think was very, very important, was visibility. Because usually, you know, uh, for usual people from the streets who can probably have some ideas and even brilliant brains, uh, startup acceleration, incubators, and so on, so it's something behind the big, big wall. And we wanted to break this wall. We have created uh, very simple things, Instagram page, uh, Twitter account, Facebook account, and we call it Tolstoy Show. 
and day by day we uh, show the pictures, we told the stories about what's going on within the teams, how the things are going on. So we just made daily reports for people could feel that uh, those who participate in the, uh, in the summer, in our summer camp, uh, the same people as everyone. Uh, so what we've got uh, at the end, it's 12 teams out of 25 uh, came till the Dima day. Uh, we have proposed investment to three of them, which was totally unexpected result for Yandex. We did not expect any investments at all from our side because uh, the, all the previous experience of working with the Russian market, with domestic market, showed us that people are not enough uh, techy or not enough, like have not uh, enough good product vision or probably we just did not understand what they wanted to tell us because everything uh, should be decided within a uh, couple hours meeting. And at that moment, Yandex people had an opportunity to talk to uh, the participants within two months and they finally realized what is it all about. And we have found three teams which are very close to Yandex DNA and who are ready to work with uh, the product and with, uh, to share their vision with us and we are ready to share our vision with us. And that was like fantastic result. So one more, uh, like uh, this line, it's written five new employees. Very sensitive moment. Because when you, you know, when you are Yandex and when you launch uh, acceleration problem, program, everybody says, ah, okay, they're going to hire everyone and nobody, nobody cares about startups. It's all about uh, hiring. We don't go there because they're going to eat us. We are independent entrepreneurs. We are, we are much cooler than Yandex. Come on, guys. But uh, actually, what's happened is that uh, when we tried to explain why we do that, and when we honestly said that, OK, guys, we want to develop the ecosystem. We need it. We want to be more connected with the market. Nobody trusted us. Um, at the same time, people who came from different uh, parts of uh, our big country, from small towns, said, uh, they spent two months in our offices and said, mm -hmm, Yandex, cool. But we never, we never uh, made them any proposal till the moment where they came themselves and said, okay, I think that startup is not for me but I would like to join Yandex. Uh, and there were like seven or 10 people out of 65 who wanted to join Yandex. And uh, we said, okay guys, uh, do that. Uh, we brought them to recruiters and five of them were hired. But there, there was nothing like, they expected us to say, and now everyone is going to work for Yandex. We didn't do that, they were like, hmm why they don't do any proposal to us. Uh, so, uh, at the end, that was like, you know, not, not too bad and probably somebody else who is now trying to do the company will join us later, but we think it's very natural process. And even we, we have a special pride. Uh, one of our startups who just has been created within Tolstoy Camp uh, was invited to SITCAMP Berlin, which is going to happen next month, uh, SITCAMP week. And we think it's pretty good result because I'm with a sit I work with SITCAMP for the last couple of years and I know that they, they choose the best of the best on the market. And so I was happy about that. So what's next? Of course, uh, uh, what we have done this summer should be continued, that's for sure. And probably this gives us hope that finally Yandex people will manage to work closer with ecosystem sharing experience and getting, uh, getting like fresh view on the things they are producing. We want to expand, uh, expand geographically and by the way Ukraine is our, one of our uh, key interests uh, on the startup market because uh, from my perspective to be honest uh, Ukraine is much more techy at the moment 
than, for example, startup market market in Moscow. Probably yeah. because people are more concentrated. Think, probably because they deal much more with uh, with the international global companies Forget like Facebook it. and so on and okay. so forth. So, like okay. what I see uh, here uh, in Kiev you know coming uh, coming here like three four times a year is always impressive. What about uh, if to talk about how to work with Yandex? You can get some information at our uh, new uh, page for <coughs> developers and entrepreneurs called tech.yandex.com. You can see some uh, videos about what we are interested in and so on and so forth. But my personal advice would be if you want to talk to Yandex, uh, if you want to get some investment or some expertise, first of all, don't come with pure ideas. Or with pure ideas, you can apply uh, for our next camp when we're going to announce it. But if you have your own company, come with something more, um, more uh, obvious than just a marketing bullshit presentation. Uh, show us the prototype. Uh, show us how does it work. We uh, can be, we are looking for new business models. We are always interested in uh, collaboration with offline life and bringing offline uh, businesses to online. Uh, we are always interested in new technologies and so on and so forth. So you can read more about that uh, on tech.yandex.com. But just uh, please uh, don't think, yeah, we, of course, we want to acquire smart people. Everyone wants smart people. But we are also ready to work as mentors, as experts, in case if we feel uh, you as uh, people from our DNA. Uh, any questions? I think that that's a good, good time to answer questions, because I don't know what else can be interesting for you. Uh, hello to everyone. One, two. Mm, Does my name it is work? Ivan. I am from this company, Drop Adverts, which you can, which you can find right there in the corner. So my question is, uh, you said that you joined Yandex two months before the IPO, right? Uh, so was it your strategy or was it just a coincidence? You ask uh, if to join Yandex two months before IPO was my personal strategy? Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, if I would think about getting a lot of cash from IPO, I would join Yandex 10 years ago. But unfortunately, 10 years ago, I was not enough smart and I was young and I did not care about all these corporations. So I missed this opportunity, you know. So it was not my personal <laughs> strategy to join Yandex two months before. Uh, okay, and the second part, like... Based on your experience, is this a good time to join a company two months before the IPO? I don't hear you well. He said, is that a good strategy for joining a company two months before an IPO? Whenever you want to join a company, uh, you join you, a company. Do, 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 do you have any proposal from the company who, uh, which is two months before IPO? <laughs> and any, you any, want my advice? Any other questions, folks? I've got many questions. Don't be shy. I can't Come believe this. Come on. There you go. Thank you, Mom. Hello. Hi. What is the biggest challenge that the startups that you're working with, what is, what is some of their biggest challenges, and how does Yandex help with that? So from startups' perspective, right? So I would, I would say that the biggest challenge is, you know, uh, uh, when the company wants to work with Yandex, really wants, and when we understand that we can do it somehow, we have some interest, pretty often uh, it happens that uh, while negotiating to Yandex, company loses its own uh, strategical view and point of view. And when, you know, when uh, at each iteration, you see that people rethought everything uh, to be liked by Yandex, uh, at the end you don't want them. Because you see that they are ready to change their minds every second like that. And it's not definitely what we want from people. 
So on the one hand, uh, yeah, so you, you should find this very, uh, very uh, s thin, uh, thin border uh, between being uh, independent and cool and uh, having no compromises, like uh, go away, you're corporate, I am cool, I, like, I don't want you. And uh, uh, like managing to work with a big corporation but not losing your uh, own strategy and vision. I think this is the biggest challenge. Great, we've got a couple, uh, couple more questions. I just want to make an announcement for the judges for the startup competition. Please come to the stage if you're hiding out there. Hello. Um, Hi. Yeah, you said that corporations need innovation. Um, Yandex, for one, is a very tech-averse, a technical corporation. Do you see this opportunity in developing internal innovation for other enterprises who are not in a tech space? For example, lawyer corporations, financial services. Can they develop this internal innovation drive, work with startups? Um, I hope so. I, I never tried that. Uh, what I see is that uh, within Yandex, people are really open-minded and ready for that. But even with this openness of people internally, we uh, expire problem with uh, like innovation. Oh. It's not a, it, actually it's not a problem. Problem is not a good word, but uh, to make people think about uh, something else, but their own KPIs for the quarter is a pretty hard job to do. Uh, so if you work with uh, building houses or financial sector, probably uh, these people who are wearing suits day by day are even more difficult to uh, make them thinking about uh, innovation. So I have no idea about that. Hope right. so. Another question over here. Just a Hi. quick one. My name is Alex. I'm from Sweden. Uh, do you have a strategy for European market or do you feel that uh, Russia, Ukraine and so on is your main target market for Yandex? Uh, you are talking about Yandex overall or Yandex uh, ecosystem projects and so on and so forth. Overall, I think. You can choose. <laughs> <coughs> It's, you know, it's a pitch for another half an hour. Uh, we are currently, so regarding our uh, global strategy, what we definitely realized is that even at the domestic market, we compete with uh, global players. Uh, so we have to keep the same level of uh, technology base and so on and so forth. So we have actually a global platform which is scalable for other markets. But uh, we have launched uh, for the moment only a uh, Turkish market a couple years ago trying to see how things are going there. And to be honest, they're uh, going much more difficult than uh, we expected they going to be. And uh, like our basic idea is that to gain the market, you should be local at every, uh, at every market, which is not definitely the most, uh, the, the easiest way to go because it takes you know, time, it takes money you have to find good partners, you have to go with local brands and it, it, it's, it's millions and finally like you know to cover to cover just Europe with its uh, how many countries? 50 countries? 52. Uh, you have to be local at each given location otherwise there is no sense they already have global corporation that doesn't care about local market so uh, we do our best but if it happened or not don't know yet do you have quest time for a, a couple more questions? Is it okay? Great. Who else has questions? So something I but said we'll, yesterday... But we love Sweden. Something I said yesterday, remember that uh, if you don't ask questions and smart questions, then nobody knows who you are. You're just another person sitting in the audience. The smarter the question, the investors and Yandex and other people are more intrigued and want to talk to you. So is anybody now inspired to ask a question before I do? Are you guys serious? Did anybody sleep last night? No. no. So, in one sentence, what's your advice to any person that wants to build a company? What, what's my advice? In one sentence, what's your advice to any entrepreneur to build a company in order to succeed? What's the most important thing for an entrepreneur to succeed? Uh, define the problem, find solution, uh, take your way. 
Okay, great. And there's another question I'd like to ask uh, people involved in the ecosystem. Um, there's many different types of entrepreneurs. Um, what are the three personality traits, the types of entrepreneurs, that you think is the most valuable personality traits to have for an entrepreneur to succeed? I think you have to be first uh, visionary, mm -hmm. second uh, smart, and third brave. Okay, those are three. I, I would say I would say brave is the, probably the most important, but braveness without smartness brings you to ma makes you to the stupid things. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. So now, so those are the good things to remember. Now, what are the three bad? personality traits that entrepreneurs should not be like? So I'm supposed to ask the good questions. These are the questions that you guys are supposed to ask. Three let's things... Wait, uh, let's make a direction. No, 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 no. <laughs> you're on Sage. Three things that are bad or the, the negative traits for entrepreneurs. Uh, um, not... Charles, what do you want to no, say? No, 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 no. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 I agree. Go ahead. Not hearing the market, not seeing the market, not talking to people. Okay, fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you, Charles. <laughs> That's good teamwork. Always have a team in the audience it's to help you out. It's my advisory board. Fantastic. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you. A round of applause, folks. Come on.